Well, hello, sports fans. I'm Harry, and welcome to Harry's Stuff and Such. Today, I wanted to talk about drying filament. So stick around, and uh, we'll see what we got to talk about. Well, welcome back. So, drying filament, wet filament, the stigma of wet filament, what does that do? Well, wet filament basically ruins your prints. Causes stringiness, uh, causes spottiness, you know, all sorts of things. Uh, so how does your filament get wet? Well, most filament is a polymer, and polymers are uh, hydroscopic which means basically they just absorb moisture naturally from uh, the air and how much they absorb. I mean, it depends on the, the humidity in your particular environment. Um, where I'm located, it can get pretty humid during the summer, so uh, you can expect, uh, if you leave your filament out, to, uh, get a, to absorb a lot of moisture. Uh, drier climates, maybe out in the desert, uh, not so much so. So what do you do to uh, help alleviate the problem of your filament soaking up moisture? And once it does soak up moisture, what do you do? Well, to help alleviate it, the problem of it, uh, say, absorbing moisture, is you need to keep it in a dry place, uh, an airtight container uh, that is uh, uh, dry, uh, maybe with some desiccant uh, some sort of uh, uh, material that basically absorbs the moisture out of the air that it's sitting in. But once your filament gets wet, uh, you're going to have to dry it. There's no actively dry it. In other words, there's no there's no way around it. You can't just put your filament in an airtight box with some uh, desiccant to absorb the moisture and expect it to get dry. So how do you actively dry it? Well, there's a couple of ways. Um, you can basically put it in your oven. Uh, convection ovens work great uh, since that moves the air around. Um, but one thing I'm going to try out, and I've got it with me right now, and I'm going to unbox it today. Food dehydrator. In particular, it's an Ivation food dehydrator. And so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this uh, little puppy here and see what it looks like. All righty, let's see what we got here. China. Okay, so here we go. I've got the uh, Ivation food dehydrator. And in case anybody's wondering, this was not sent to me. I purchased this with my own funds. In fact, everything on my channel that I talk about or review or look uh, is purchased with my own funds, including my printer. It's printing some parts behind me. So what do we have here in this box? All right, user guide. 
we're here to help and they're not from the government they see and then the, and the limited one-year warranty information there it goes over there and somewhere in the corner all righty These are the trays. Seems to be packed up well. Give them, give them big thumbs up on packaging. And there's the front door. There we go. There you go. One basic food dehydrator. All right. There are many types of food dehydrators, so why did I pick this particular type of food dehydrator? Well, I liked it because it was um, square, sort of ish, instead of round. Why? And, and, uh, and that it had multiple shelves as well, because basically I'll be able to put my filament, if I, once I figure out how to get it in there, I can put more than one spool at a time. Put one in the bottom here, put in a rack, put another one. I'm hoping to be able to get uh, at least three in here, and I think I should be able to. Should be able to get one here, one here. I might be able to get four. But uh, mainly, but I was, I'll be satisfied with three. I'm pretty sure I can get one. Well, I certainly think I'll be able to get at least three, if not four. I like the design, popping the door in, setting the temperature, turning it on, walk away, eight, 10, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours and see how long it takes for it to dry. And then I'll be able to come back. Uh, once it's dried, I can use it in the, the filament and then I can put it in an airtight container with some desiccant and keep it dry. Uh, in fact, uh, in a, fo a follow on uh, video of this, I'm going to make a couple of dry boxes. I also purchased a dry box that I'm going to examine, review, and see how well it works as opposed to the homemade remedy and see how much it costs, difference between the two are, and the convenience factor, so forth, so on. Anyways, that's where I'm at with my Ivation food dehydrator. And once I get some uh, uh, filament in it and get it fired up and running we'll see how well it dries out that filament and keeps it dry so for now that's it um, if you like this video thumbs up if you don't thumbs down and 
I'm not sure what my response to that is, but anyways, whichever you want to do is okay with me. Uh, I really would like for you to subscribe. Subscribe. I really would like for you to subscribe to this channel as well. Uh, it helps to keep me off the streets, and uh, you know, that anything to keep me off the streets is a good thing, I guess. So for now, that's it, and. Oh, if you happen to like my uh, gaming chair behind me, I have a video unpacking and assembly review of my uh, gaming chair as well if you want to catch a, a peek at it. But anyways, until next time, you guys take care, and I'll catch you on the backside now. Well, hello, sports fans. I'm back. I just want to give you a quick update on the Ivation food dehydrator. I was indeed able to get three rows of filament, one kilogram rows of filament, one kilogram rows of filament. There's top, middle, and bottom. They've been in there about eight hours. I've had them at 122 degrees Fahrenheit and everything's nice and warm, the blower's on, so these should, rows of filament should be nice and dry and ready for printing when it's all done. So. I'll add a, uh, a link to this Ivation uh, so that you can, uh, I got this from Amazon, but I'll add a link and you can look at it and see what you think about it. But so far it's working quite well and I'll keep you posted. So I'll catch you guys on the uh, backside now. Take care.